ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel and welcome... Oh, my hair. Anyway, ignore, ignore my hair. Welcome back uh, to another video. So yeah, today I'm going to be doing my top five games of the year. Don't ask me why, I couldn't, I couldn't think of another video to do and I couldn't be asked to do a Merry Christmas one. Anyway, Merry Christmas to people. I might actually do a Merry Christmas one after this. Uh, maybe. Anyway... Yeah, let's get into the top five games. Number five, I'm going to go with Forza Horizon 4. Was it four? Yeah, four, four. Probably. probably. Yeah, yeah. It's an Xbox exclusive. I have a PS4. Uh, to be honest, I couldn't think of another f of a fifth game that I liked. So I went for the biggest Xbox release of this year, and that's Forza Horizon 4. It's set in England, I think. It's another reason why. Yeah. yeah. Number four is... Oh, that's I was trying to do a cut there, but it just didn't work at all. Number four is Detroit Become Human. That's the one. I've, I've got a list over here that I'm trying to read off, but I'm far away from it, so I can't see it. Number four, Detroit Become Human. I think that came out this year. This is really shambolic. I haven't done any research. Detroit Become Human came out this year, I believe, right at the start of this year. Uh, it was great. The characters are great. Marcus, Cara, and Connor, they're all great. Um, yeah, the story's good. You, and the best thing is, you could be an asshole in it. And that's what I like about games. If you can be an asshole in them, I'm down. Don't don't mind the pink pillow. My, my grand's in, sleeping in my room for now. Um, anyway, number three is God of War. Another PS4 exclusive, just like Detroit, because they're just the best game don't they realistically i've just triggered so many people my hair is really annoying me i've just triggered so many people anyway god of war is great the only bit i don't like about it is um the fact that the story the actual drive of the story is a bit weird it's sort of i don't know it's like spoilers kind of the main thing is you your mom dies and then or kratos's wife dies and you have to go and like sprinkle her asses over the top point of every realm. That's the main thing. I don't, I don't really get it. I haven't played it, but I've seen a lot of it. So yeah. Anyway, number two. Again, I'm sorry, but it's it's PS4 again. The PS4 Spider Man. It came out this year. It's great. Basically, the the characters are great. Um, the swinging they've nailed. Uh, the swinging it feels like you are Spider Man. The suits could have been better, realistically. There's some pretty shabby ones. There's some quite good ones. Again, the only bit I don't like about it is the Miles Morales and MJ bits. They're, they're shite, basically. It's just stealth and they're boring after a while, if I'm honest. They're just, they're just boring. Yeah. Anyway, number one. I'm going to guess that you know what I'm going to put. Not actually an exclusive to anything, which is, I think this is the first one to not be. Obviously, it's Red Dead Redemption 2. I mean, it's it's great, to be honest. Red Dead Redemption 1, one of the best games ever made. I think maybe the best. Uh, Rockstar Games, obviously a great like creative studio and everything. So yeah, it's great. Arthur is a good character. You can like, change how he looks, you can grow his beard, you can actually like change his clothes. Instead of how John had like seven seven different clothing options in the first game. Anyway, yeah, this that's the top five. Don't shy on me for it. It's my opinion. Put down in the comments your opinion if you want to. And yeah, have a Merry Christmas, I guess. I'm, I'm actually going to end up doing that Christmas video, aren't I? Oh. <sighs>